Hi everybody, welcome back to Mediocre Whiskey Review. I'm Joel, your host, and today we're gonna do another experiment. Stick around. All right, everybody. So I decided today we're gonna do another experiment. Um, kind of like the, you know, Rocks versus Glen Karen. Except today I keep seeing I, I don't know if it was a trend on TikTok or what, but regardless, I saw it and I'm like, huh, let's try that out. So, um, we're going to whisk a whiskey. How about that? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So go like and subscribe, do the things, do the stuff, and let's go. So what we're drinking is Knob Creek 9. Um, just, you know, I didn't want to do anything like super outrageous or expensive in case I don't like it but um so I have two glasses sorry you can't see them I have two glasses of Knob Creek 9 this one I'm gonna drink just as she is this one we're gonna get we're gonna get a little whiskey with her maybe you see this guy I bought this just to do this just to do this experiment with. So we'll see how it goes. Um, what I've heard, what I've seen in other videos, sorry, I have a little dribble on my table here. Um, I, I've seen a few people do this with different, different drinks. Um, and they say that it really changes the flavor quite a bit. And I know, you know, I, swirl it around in the glass quite a bit trying to get like some air in or whatever um and this apparently does that <laughs> very quickly so we're gonna find out if it works or if it changes it and like maybe maybe it's just garbage and it ain't gonna do a damn thing but we're here for it we're here to find out okay so let's take a little sip of our our uh, sample here pretty pretty standard Knob Creek, nine year. Um, you know, it's it's a very standard whiskey. It doesn't blow my socks off, but like it's good to sit and sip on. Um, some caramel vanilla, you know, there's a little bit of spice. Of course, it's not, um, it's a hundred proof. Um, obviously, my bottle is like, I'm gonna have to get a replacement. So we have, we have our little control sample there. Now we're gonna mix this up. And like, I turned this on. This thing moves pretty quick. So I'm either going to have whiskey everywhere or it's going to do what I want it to do and stay in the damn glass. Let's find out, okay? I'm a little nervous, but here we go. All right, let me get my fingers out of the way. All right, we're going. My goodness. That like look how like it's foamy. <laughs> I'm not sure what I expected to happen. So this one smells like it did, you know. Uh, Knob Creek 9. This one, the nose is like really faint. Like there's not a lot, not a lot on it. So let's take a sip. So It has changed it. Um, give me a minute and I'm going to tell you my thoughts. But like, it's kind of odd. So what I had heard one person say when they did it is that it really brought out the oak. Um, the oak flavors and whatever. But this tasted a lot more like nothing than this does. Let's try again. I 
I feel like it definitely um, kind of like took the flavor away is how it how it feels. So let me cleanse palette. We'll try again. Mm. Um, but we're also, we're going to whisk it up some more because why not, right? Here we go. I kind of just like playing with it, to be honest. It looks like beer in my glass right now. So, like, this little mixer thing that I got, like, <laughs> I don't know. I paid, like, ten bucks for it on Amazon. It came with the tiniest little whisk. Is that not the freaking cutest thing you have ever, what am I gonna, what am I gonna whisk with this? I don't do, like, this is a, I think it was advertised as a milk frother. I'm not one of those people. I don't drink frothy milk, and I don't need frothy milk for my coffee. Um, I drink my coffee black, nothing in it, and hot. I don't do iced coffee. Literally have no use for this. But it's okay. Because, well, I like doing experiments. The, the nose is, like... There's not much happening in it right now. Huh. Let's try again. Like. I guess it does taste like a little more oaky. It's pulled out the um, like vanilla and uh, caramel flavors, like, like, when I say pulled it out, I mean, like, they're gone, um, which is interesting. Yeah, that's, ah, if I'm being honest with you, I expected this to do nothing. I didn't expect, um, I didn't expect there to be much of a difference. But, like, how cool that there was, right? So, I know when you add air to things, it's going to change. It's going to pull maybe the alcohol out. Um, I, I don't know. But it really, it really lightened up all of the flavors. Now, the, the oak is a little more present. But I think it's because the vanilla and caramel um, are, are not there. And the alcohol, like the... Um, like the alcohol burn that you would feel is far less on the whiskeyed, on the whisked whiskey. That's the words. Um, than it is on the control sample. So, huh. Very interesting. Yep. Yeah, like, it, to me, this Knob Creek 9 is, it's got a lot of... Uh, vanilla in it. Sorry, I have this one piece of hair that mm, it's just all in my face and it makes me feel like there's something on me. So, here's my conclusion. Here's, here's where I'm going to leave this at. If you whisk your whiskey, it is very likely that you could get drunk a lot faster because there's not a lot of not a lot of like alcohol burn um it feels more watery i guess so it feels lighter than than what it actually is um so that's that's where i'm at that's what i got for you today um so i hope everybody's doing super well this was a fun experiment and i'm probably I'll probably try it again with something else, because um, why not? But for now, um, you guys go be nice to each other and do all the nice things. And I'm going to go to bed. That's what I want to do. So I will see you guys in a week. And until then, 
Take care. Be nice. Be good. See you next week. Cheers.